Concept art is used by a development team to test and establish the look and feel of a game before actual construction begins. Even in an established universe like Star Wars, everything starts with concept art, weapons, locales, and characters. In designing the world of Republic Commando, concept artist Greg Knight took an interesting angle. He imagined that if the movies were seen from the lofty perspective of the Jedi, then what might the same universe look like as seen through the battle-hardened eyes of a soldier? The result is a darker and grittier interpretation of some familiar Star Wars elements. At the center of the Republic Commando gameplay experience is the Commando soldier himself. To create this elite warrior, aspects of the original Star Wars design were combined with elements drawn from other inspirations, including Roman gladiators, Navy SEALs, and ninjas. Late in the development cycle, Star Wars creator George Lucas suggested that the commandos wear color-coded armor to differentiate one from the other, and to capitalize on the visual metaphors he was exploring for Episode 3. Color, tone, a sense of space and realism. These are the features the concept artist sought to capture while illustrating the virtual sets of Republic Commando. The game originally centered around one single day of the war, set entirely on Geonosis. But soon, more environments were added, including the planet of Kashyyyk from the upcoming Revenge of the Sith. Each weapon was created to reflect the personality of the faction that wields it. The Republic Commando rifle is efficient, adaptable, and absolutely deadly. The Geonosian beam weapon sucks the blood of its host and converts it into a fiery napalm spray. And the Trandoshan weapons were imagined as brutal, but badly engineered, with details like a built-in fire extinguisher to cope with the inevitable malfunctions. Finally, Republic Commando complements its arsenal with turrets and vehicles. Hundreds of sketches and paintings must be whittled down to a handful of iconic images. These final concepts serve as the foundation for prototyping and are fleshed out in full three-dimensional detail, breathing life into the characters, creatures, and environments of Republic Commando.